What's up guys? This is this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead Wallets play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, a small and depleted Prussian army has wandered close to one of our forces and we shall destroy them. And we will, and we will take this opportunity uh, to destroy as many of them as we can. So let's get ready for the battle. We have lots of Prussian armies pushing down from the northwest from uh, the, the, uh, the Vienna direction. So we need to be careful we don't uh, lose too many troops inappropriately. Because um, we have a lot of full strength Rus Russian armies on the way. So uh, important to bear that in mind. But we, we, are, we are chewing them up. And we are gaining an advantage to certain degrees in Europe. So I think we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Ooh, do I want to fight for the hill? Maybe is the answer to that. So let's create the three Hindu musketeers push up the front, back them up with two Islamic swordsmen. And then let's put three line units on the right. And give them a Gurkha unit in reserve. Plus an extra two units on the left. Not quite as well spaced out, but that's okay. Ideally, to be honest, I think the artillery is going to be fairly useless in this game. They're not, there's nowhere I can really deploy them off the bat. So get some heavy cavalry and war elephants on one flank, heavy cavalry, Kizobashi on the other. There we go. Okay, where's my central force? Get everyone up here as quickly as possible. We'll bring our guns up, but they're probably not going to get deployed. At least not very quickly. Make sure my kids are bashy at firing them off. The original Dragoons plus Blunderbuss Shotgunners. Yeah, we're getting some shrapnel shot. Form square. Push my Islamic swordsman in. I mean, this flank I'm not so worried about, as far as uh, melee troops is concerned. Might bring my Kizobashi across to make sure we destroy the Blunderbuss Shotgunners. Okay, let's form up our new line. My Islamic Swordsmen are more than capable of dealing with those Lancers. It's your job. Okay, withdraw. Get out of the way. New man, fire at will. So it's going to be the enemy cavalry we need to take out first, then we can quite happily mob the rest of their formations. A Hadi. Get in here against the regiment of horse. I mean, you're going to have to fight, because otherwise they'll just charge you. I mean, they still they still have charged you, but... Okay, you men fill up the gaps. Islamic swordsman. Get behind the line. So for you guys, you can jump on the regiment of horse. These units push forward aggressively. Let's get my mobile elements 
in quickly. Does Abashi Cavalry go for that unit of heavy infantry? Push my line out, throw my Gurkhas in against the Swiss guards. My Islamic swordsmen will cut through the regiment of horse and then they'll go east to hit the Swiss guards as well. I mean, they look great. Aha, Hadi, go for the general's bodyguard. Make sure we kill their artillery crew. Actually, you guys may deploy here just to fire into the flank of that infantry. Islamic swordsmen can flank the Swiss guards. So Gurkhas on one flank, Islamic swordsmen on another flank. So you need to be careful because there's lots of stakes around. So we kind of want to wait until they get past the stakes. But the Swiss guards, they were wavering for a second. There they go. You might be guard infantry, but there's only so many sword-wielding maniacs you can deal with. So we're charging the 61st, so what I want to do is take my infantry here, push them up like so. Actually, you guys can probably. Well, actually, let's probably take. But my elephants. Actually, no, you guys are fine there. Yeah, so look, they're, they're doing a lot of damage to my infantry, so it's a reminder that there's only so long we can actually. It's only so long we can actually uh, <laughs> stand toe to toe with the enemy. Although. Pull this cavalry out. Ah, oh, guerrilla mercenaries versus elephants. That's pretty good. Okay, these Sipahi can deal with the regiment of fur. You guys have dealt with the Swiss guard. Nice. Okay, then you guys can deal with... Oh no, they're going to escape, because the edge of the field is so close. Unless we're very lucky. Ah, which we're not. Is that going to run you into stakes? It is. So run... around... everyone engaging these men here so I want to make sure you're here directly along the line of retreat so actually you want to go for the cavalry the enemy here new men are going to run I'm going to get directly on the path of retreat for these guys because the elephants don't quite make it I mean, you can chase down the engineers. Looks like you will catch up with them and kill them all. One last engineer. Oh, looks like he's going to escape. Grenadiers here are just getting shot to pieces. Got him. Good. Now my Sipahi run down this last Swiss Grenadier unit. Go get him. <laughs> nice. So that's a lot of good kills for us. Yeah, the exchange ratio still wasn't as favourable as we'd like, but still.
it's a significant loss of Prussian strength. And now, actually, yeah, they've that's the end of their turn. They've taken as much of a hammering as they want. Yeah, Russia is still strong, so we are going to want to keep building up our strength in the Caucasus. Even around Kazan, they've still got some considerable strength. I am going to want to do things like land in Crimea and hold key bridges. See if I can force them into unfavorable bridge battles. That'll help thin out their numbers. But for now, I think we just carry on our strategy focusing on Prussia, especially they're actually deploying troops away from our borders against the Prussians. In some ways that's good, in some ways that's bad. Uh, we don't want we don't want a strong Russia, but uh, we don't want them to... We, we would rather take all of the Prussian territory rather than Russia, because then that just creates problems for us later on. But I'm happy if the end result is... Oh, they've taken... the oh, So, uh, Prussia's taken... Bulgaria, which is useful for us, because that's another territory we can take. I mean, they're building up in Upper Louisiana, but they've got nowhere to really use it. We're all to the south. Wait, where did they take? Did they take Moldova? No, they didn't take Moldavia. No, oh, where did they take? They've got somewhere. Oh, no, is that st oh, that's still Istanbul. My mistake. We're see we've been sieging Istanbul for so long on the map. I thought, oh, we'd taken it. And then that's something else. No, that's still Istanbul. Yeah, but that's going to fall in due course anyway to a true Muslim nation. Okay, so they've fortified Croatia. I mean, I'm going to auto-resolve that. <laughs> Are they going to save the capital? No, they're not. So, yeah, I'm more than happy just to let New, Sp um, New Spain... Or new, yeah, New Spain just kind of flounder. We are not in a position to be that bothered about the Americas for now. We would rather beat the enemy in Europe. That's what we want. Workers riot in the Netherlands. But they've chilled out now, so that's good. So, so, so. Let's go down here. You men are punished, and you're going to hunker down and stay where you are. You're probably going to attack this army, because they are depleted. Yeah, we're still sieging Istanbul. I'm happy just to let that be sieged. Yeah, pikemen. I mean, what does their, what's their army actually look like? It's not, it's, not, it's not fantastic, but their pikes are... I mean, we could take it, probably, but let's keep on doing what we're doing, because that seems to be working. You've got your guns. Okay, now let's get two Feline Musketeers. Then the army, recruit a general. We are very much after the easier game for now. Let's deal with the construction stuff. Okay, so you can recruit 10 units, which is probably going to be plus, plus one. Get a bow unit, why not? So you're waiting on two units, you're recruiting one. Is there another one on route? You. Camels. I mean, you could sail from there, but I like the idea of just getting them all, getting them all to the capital, then shipping them out. It means I can keep it straight in my head what's going on. Right. So you guys need your artillery plus. I oh, know you're um, you're a garrison unit. 
So if we want to do anything with you... I mean, to be honest, I am tempted to stop recruiting loads of troops now. So Genoa's re rebelled, but that's okay. We're upgrading new buildings anyway. Turin. I mean, I'm going to keep upgrading fortifications here. We'll keep building fortifications, because if we get pushed, if they push through, we've got all these fortified towns behind the lines to actually help us. Turin's going to become more flexible. Can the force in Genoa leave? No, they cannot. They're really unhappy. So this force here at Rome, can you leave? You can. Rome is currently exempt from tax, not anymore. And they still really like us. So if you guys stepped out. Minus seven. Very well. Let's give you a general and give you some... A bit of a militia unit army to uh, hold towns. Okay, right. Ship this sloop across. It's got, it's an interesting opportunity here. If we push you guys up and engage Otto Zumalenstein, especially you've got the fact you've got lots of weak cavalry, we can push you back, and then that leaves Hanover isolated. So you're replenishing. The steam dry dock is raided. You guys are waiting for them to walk within range. Let's upgrade. U rebuild Utrecht to have a madrasa. Push up the army that's replenishing. Right, I think we've got lots of, there's lots of things we can possibly do. I mean, one of them is going to be push out towards Zagreb. Pleated army is holding it and it appears well, let's raid their university. What a bit of a breakout. Can you guys leave Venice? Because we've got a strong Muslim contingent. Theoretically yes. Let's recruit a block of Kizil Bashi. And I can push you guys out. Right, let's do some fighting. So you need to attack this army in port here. Then we need to fight the army to the west of them. Then we need to attack Croatia. There's a lot of stuff we can do. This is going to be another good turn of just degrading the Prussian ability to make war. Well, not make war. Continue war. We're destroying their armies in the field. So they can continue to make war with their... Towns and cities and economic power, but they can't uh, keep fighting. Okay, artillery. Deploy behind the lines. Fire over our heads. Mortars, they need to go. Which I might deploy my great guns on this bit of terrain. So, let's combine all my same sized musket troops together. Can do, let's put two units to the rear. And let's group them together so I don't forget who they are. I'm going to push two melee units on the right flank. I've got my mercenaries to hold the left. Point my cavalry. And my mortars are going to be... I mean, they've got to deploy up as far as up as they can get. Artillery is just going to open up, as are my mortars, but frankly, they're not as useful. Their cavalry is pushing. The Light Dragoons, us a regiment of horse, get the dervishes to form up. 
form square. Form square. Dervish's counter charge. Okay, you men push it up to bar into the flank of that cavalry unit. Keep pushing out of the left. Be aggressive with my heavy cavalry. And my dervish is going to hack them down a tree. Down they go. In all my cal artillery is focusing on artillery to the rear. And my great guns are engaging the 37th light horse. So here comes my mortars firing at will. Will they do anything useful? Eh, kind of useful. As these units get out of square. It's only a unit of militia. You men push the hussars. Because you guys will clean up sharpshooters nicely enough. Let's get my artillery to retarget. Just go for their guns. Are you firing at the cavalry or the militia? Militia. Cool. Pahi, go for the general's bodyguard. So we want to do something like this. Kill the enemy general. Keep killing the sharpshooters. Okay, mortars cease fire because now you're just becoming too much of a liability. Get my heavy cavalry in to attack the artillery to the rear. There we go. Enemy routing across the board. All my artillery stop firing. Get as many men as we can. Ooh, you're, you guys are going to route. Artillery engage the line infantry at range. Just mop up manually. You guys, just form your line. All my gunners are engaging the 118th. They've already lost a bunch of troops. So you're going to continue chasing down the militia. Although they are going to escape, it would appear, because they've spread out nicely. Our Indian cavalry guards have taken a bit of a hammering. Unsurprisingly though, their, their focus is my cavalry force. Just keep moving away. Yeah, they can't ignore my, my infantry forever. Got smacked by artillery. Oh, there they go. All right, continue. Go get him.
Make sure they're ungrouped. Pathfinding always seems to be funky. If you group your cavalry and try and pursue, they may escape. There's one guy back here. Depends how well we do killing them. We do very well. Bash. Nice. That is a good win. And then our army can auto the remaining troops. Do you men replenish? Get into the port to make it fully ours. Don't bother about attacking the farms. And this fellow is going to attack Norbert Vulipus. Same option, same intention here. Destroy as many of them as we can. And now those armies that are currently in the middle of the, well, in the sort of the west of the Balkans, they have to make a choice. Do they go north to protect Croatia? Uh, or, not Croatia. I can't remember. No, it's Zagreb, Croatia. Do they go north to protect against our incursion there? Or do they continue south to maintain a front line near Istanbul? I don't think they're going to make the right choice. Because both of them are bad. So, as is tradition, Hillary up. Musketeers up. Again, the intention is going to be to surround. So I'm going to drop two really good melee units behind the line. Protect them. And then I'm going to form two not quite so good melee companies on the flanks to push up and envelop. Skirmish cavalry plus lancers is good. Sipahi on the other is also good. Let my artillery open fire on whomever they desire. It looks like the left flank is going to be an interesting option to push. Yeah, they're engaging our infantry force. I mean, Kizobashi cannot form square. So they are probably... Oh, they're going to make it. Brycor cavalry... Well, basically, I'm committing my melee wing against a against their cavalry force, which is a good trade. Maybe I'll push my dervishes right the way up. Then my Spahi dervishes knock out the Freikorps cavalry. Actually, now you guys have to go for the... I mean, they're only hussars. I don't want them to set up. So you're going to run around the flank. Lancers just smash into them. You hit the 74th. So you hit the 63rd as, as well because they're already wavering. Split our gunfire. Gurkhas may have to be committed. I mean, you guys will both take out the gendarmerie well enough. Let's get my Kizilbashi out, form a new flank. Kizilbashi, push out and attack the 63rd. Now my melee troops are showing up. Not, 
It's not going the ideal direction because the cavalry fight over here has bogged us down. So the Gurkhas help take out the light horse. Dervishes push on to the gendarmerie. Gurkhas keep pushing up. Nope. Okay, right. Cavalry. Lancers. Keep pushing. Hindu warriors. Kizilbashi. You men. Push. I accidentally picked the cavalry up again, but... Nope. Kizilbashi, go after the natives. Excellent. Pahi. Push up. Maybe go after the 11th because they're already vulnerable. You knock out that infantry. Excellent. You get over and attack the 74th. Okay, this is a bit dicey. Cavalry across lots. So we're winning the, the musket battle. Okay, you're going to also get involved here. The Lancers. Actually, my Sipahi go for the native regiment. Go for the regiment of Fur. You men go for the. Actually, no, Marines are good. You men go for the 64th. Looks like that is a. Apart from the marines in the, in the centre, that is a general collapse of the line. Damn right we're going to fight. Artillery cease fire. Okay, take out the Marines first, then the 64th. Okay, all my cavalry, oh no, my lance is unengaged. Okay, right. Excellent. That's that regiment of foot done. Okay, you guys hold off now. No, cavalry keep pushing. Oh no, the lance, they are good, doing good work. Three men of line infantry left. I think we got the marines. You know, it's everybody against the 5th regiment, including a bunch of infantry. It's only militia. So even if they do escape, it's okay. But they won't. <laughs> Excellent. We've chewed them up nicely. Okay, let's not go mad. Because you men need to replenish. You're replenishing. You're the only strong unit we got, and they're not even in the best shape. So this front is a bit vulnerable. I mean, lots of cavalry is a bit of a faux pas on their side. That's a good army. Lots of elites, lots of artillery, which may not be so great. Okay, you men, let's attack Zagreb and bring it into the fold. Conrad Prus, Praus. So we're going to take the city and we're going to build fortifications. We're not going to let them... Well, we're going to want to turn this into a bit of a bit of a fortified camp. Remember, gentlemen, what a Roman emperor said. The corpse of an enemy always smells sweet. Yeah, not literally, though. I mean, come on. Especially thousands of them. Could get pretty smelly. But yeah, the enemy force here is slightly depleted. They've got a couple of good units. Well, a couple of full strength units. But nothing that's going to really hamper our progress. We're going to do a pretty good job at taking the city and turning it into a good base of operations.
So the opportunity, so the intention here is just to win. We haven't got to kill every last German that withstands us. So I want to be a bit more not traditional, but with my saw. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have our musket front line, our melee second line, and then we're gonna have our cavalry on the flanks to push up and around. And probably my general. I don't use my general enough. My light infantry and camels up. This is a gendarmerie, so both of my cavalry units are superior here. My artillery is bombarding their artillery. So my cavalry go after the 43rd, my camels are going after the 49th. Okay, they're starting to shrapnel us, so we need to push up fast. Lest we get pulverized. Have these guys on the left. Musketry is getting involved. Push up my general and my heavy cavalry. That's a lot of musketry. So they managed to run through my camel unit, which is not great. The Kizilbashi are engaging the gendarmerie. Ideally, shatter them. go to keep my cam keep my general more involved my sapahi okay there we go now they've committed lots of enemy enemy upset here Push up with fire at will on. Okay, get ready because it looks like they're starting. They, they, they desire a, uh, a bayonet charge across a few sections of our line. Well, my 53rd pair of volley for the 137th, and then we'll go in. You men readjust, get my guardsmen in to support the attack. And there goes the 10th regiment. Let's bring my general to bear. My Tipahi go, my, uh, Tipahi go for this infantry unit, plus the melee infantry go for them as well. Get all my artillery just to attack this last gendarmerie unit. We can square off with them with my camels. Go on, general v general. You've got horses, we got elephants. And there goes the enemy general. Let's pivot my musket line so it doesn't engage with the in this combat here. I don't care if there's lots of friendly dead. Yeah, there we go. The enemy have broken. Throw men into the town. I mean, 
could chase them down, but it's unnecessary. We are... They will all be destroyed when the city is taken. There you go. They've decided to charge my heavy cavalry, which will be their doom. Yeah, you can keep attacking if you like. Bringing my Hindu warriors there, going to support dragging these cavalrymen out from the saddle. And there they go. Nice. So many dead Prussians. But we're not going to follow them. We're not going to pursue them through the town. Oh, beautiful. So let's get some visibility on what's around us. Ooh. Fortify the governor's palace. So you men are going to provide a bit of protection for Zagreb itself. We're going to get rid of these dry ducks. Combine these raiding ships. Is that f that's a fleet in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Excellent. So the yeah, Prussian, uh, actual Prussian shipyards on this coast are limited to Trieste. Build the Great Estates. We're going to knock down the Weaver's Cottage because we're going to need to build more. Um, we need to build more madrasas. Go two more sloops to occupy both these ports. Okay, you replenish and then you get ready because we may want to. Attack Turin, especially if they've got lots of cavalry inside. They've got a field marshal of Europe in there. Gee, you, you can't take the high, high ground. But you have a decision to make. Hopefully. Oh, it's mostly militia. So it's mo I want to see what these guys do. But these guys aren't themselves a concern. It's pretty good. We're going to keep sieging Hanover. But I want to take you and attack Otto Zum Allenstein. Don't really need support, but we've got it anyway. Mostly it's the Gendarmerie, so I do not foresee a massive issue here. Gendarmerie is not very good cavalry. Most, most uh, standard infantry units can hold them off, even... Even if the square breaks, you don't really need to drop back into square because they are mostly kind of like light cavalry. I don't really think of them as light cavalry because I don't think of them as like hussars. But I think of them as they're, they're almost the, the most irregular, regular cavalry you can get. Which I think isn't really a helpful description, but it's the only one I get. So I've got lots of bugged artillery here. So I've got a Got so much bugged artillery. <laughs> that's stupid. That's so dumb. I mean, I'll take it, but that's so dumb. So we are going to play semi defensively because our force composition is not ideal. We have a lot of our own cavalry to match their cavalry, for sure. I kind of want to... I want the enemy to come at me, and then I'll counter. I mean, all the artillery just open up it. They've got no artillery, but I just want to watch the... Watch the carnage. Bouncing shots into the Freikorps. Gendarmerie is very upset. Okay, let's begin picking individual targets. And let's bring out my cavalry. With the Elephant Musketeers. 30th Regiment. Ah, oh, sound bugs. There we go, now they're back. 
A lot of artillery. Okay, May. Want to redeploy my artillery to engage the enemy infantry because that's going to be what causes problems more so than the cavalry. Withdraw. Let the gendarmerie be fired upon. Native lances. Go for the 47th. Get my haddy out of there. Throw my Islamic swordsman into the mix. I'm going to stop firing with my mortars entirely. Cavalry guards are just mowing down the gendarmerie. I mean, they may well, some of them may well come back, but just throw throw your men in. Even as like melee troops, even my my regular muskets, just throw them in. Engage the Preston Fusiliers. Don't let them put up stakes. All my artillery engage the General's bodyguard to the rear. Russian Giants, Grenadiers. Enemies form squares. Islamic swordsmen break it. Break their square. Okay, you men form up and engage the dervishes. Push through. The enemy general's routed. So there goes the enemy line infantry. So now it's only the giant's grenadiers that are actually holding. Although they too are in trouble. There aren't a huge amount of units I actually want to desperately kill. The Giant's Grenadiers though is one of them. This is a bit mad. You know, lost a few men. Dakes there. Dervishes get over here at support. Actually, you guys come over here and help. Hadi. You're right. Infantry get out of the way. Let your Hadi take out the grenadiers. You're right. Continue. Indian Cavalry Guards go after Bry Jaeger. This two-man unit go after the 33rd. There are stakes, but I'm hoping they won't be too critical. Right. Go after Giants Grenadiers. You men go after the Militia. Try to go after the Fry Jaeger. the line unit and go after the mercenaries there's one unit over there that's very well spread out so let's just try go after the militia here
Mow them down. Yeah, the other, the other unit's already escaped. Beautiful. Ah, that wasn't close. Like I said, a bit dodgy. Need a bit of force composition changes here. So what we're going to do is pull out the Royal Indian Cavalry Guard. I mean, it's not too bad. The only thing I really could do with is another unit of regular infantry. So you're, you're, you can interfere at Dresden. Let's make sure you're supported. Should they come after you. Okay, I want these guys to push forward. Attack Braunschweig and then take both these bridges. Then we're really secure in this part of the world. You're just holding, trying to pin these units to stop them from redeploying. I mean, yeah, some of these generals are getting some good bonuses. But I think let's see how the AI responds to what we've done. Oh, yeah, more forces for the Caucasus. Some point you need to deal with Greece, but that is not today. Oh, that's where that Prussian fleet went. They're going to dismantle our trade apparatus. It's a good fleet, actually. So they lost two ships. They're going to sail around these guys. Oh, that's the Dutch. The Danish. Not so bothered about the Danish. Blah, 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 blah. Are you going to sit on the trade node? Just a few more ships. Oh, they just, they're just going to show up, attack some fleets, and then run away. That's okay. I can break my battle fleet into two, secure both those trade zones, and send two new trade fleets over to take the space. Oh, no, they're still there. Cool. Mm -hmm. They're continuing to push. The garrison at Istanbul is going to Sally. And we are going to fight it, but looking at the timer, I think we're probably best placed to say, let's end the episode here and then kick that off at the start of the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.